Spyrex weapon. I knew it. The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. Huh? What are you doing? So this is what humans call irony, naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you gonna do now? There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Wait! You must be the intruder! If I said I wasn't, would you let me pass? Mila! How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. 
You in cahoots with her? What? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the Four's power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. Come quietly or else. I can't believe I'm doing this. Out of our way. <laughs> All clear. <sighs> What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen, you'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven. You don't know where it is, do you? This way. I'm sorry to have put you in this situation. It's okay. Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. Fenmont. The city built upon spirit arts. I must say it's quite the spectacle. The Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the Central Plaza first. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Tallum Medical School. After crossing the Central Plaza, turn right at the first corner. If Efreed were here, I'd never have to be drenched like this. school. Mr. Eldon? Is that you? Wh what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary, but I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her! Bye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that... I just wanted to... Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh... Who are you? Save the chit-chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I... Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrant, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you're an ex-marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face... execution. What? Execution? Fuck at them! Come on. <laughs> 
You're sturdier than you look. What's going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. They were just getting out of their way. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? Um... It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh, yes sir. And this is Mila. Hang in there, kid.